are lots of things to grab our attention in today's modern world. We've become used to just browsing through things. How do our churches get noticed in this busy world? The book, A Hundred Ways to Get Your Church Noticed, looks at more traditional ways of publicity, like publications and posters, as well as word of mouth methods to get noticed in the community, and the more modern digital methods, websites, mobiles, and social media. Here are some of those ways in action. Good design is important for churches because it establishes a relationship between the church and the people that they're trying to reach. It establishes trust, which is important if you're, if you're wanting to convey a message, particularly a message that you know, may not necessarily be on their radar at that moment. You want to establish a, a trust relationship with those people. Images are really important in good design. It's, it's a well-known phrase that a picture tells a thousand words and you can say more in one image than a whole load of words to try and, and the fact is a lot of the stuff that we need to put out there the postcards the flyers that if you throw word after word after word into those people get bored people switch off they immediately turn off with just words and images tell your message so quickly especially if you get the right image getting the right image is one of the most important parts of design and for marketing and advertising for a church um, it's, it's important to realize that no one's going to get saved through the flyers that you put out by putting out really good flyers but people are going to be drawn to what you do because you represent quality and that opens doors in people's hearts that opens doors in people's minds and in their thinking and it's just one of those ways that you can build a strong connection with a community uh, to establish trust. Um, it's a very powerful thing. Um, we're in a fantastic location right here in the heart of the village and we kind of felt like what can what can we do better with our building and so we decided that what the village is lacking we decided that as a church but actually the parish council then did a survey of all the residents in the village and the residents themselves said we haven't got a coffee shop that's one of the things that's lacking so our kind of vision and the need from the village very much came together um, and so we spent a lot of time developing this vision into what it is today now. First day opening and it looks fantastic. You know, the real vision behind it was to offer a real quality experience. The same as you'd get if you went into any commercial cafe. We're not operating as a commercial outlet. Um, we're staffed by volunteers and so on. But actually we want to give the same experience and the same quality. is quite different from um, an older community because we don't have a church, um, we don't have anything other than the shopping centre that we're sitting in that you would think of as the heart of the community really, so social media are very important in helping to create that sense of community. It's really important for us as a church that we use social media because obviously if that's where some of the community is happening we need to engage with that. So we make sure that we're involved in two of the local Facebook groups. There's one group called Voice for Whiteley and another one, Whiteley Mummies. So we post in there quite regularly. And we also have our own Facebook page and a website which are connected. Social media is, is really important for us generating some response. Um, we, I get baptism inquiries through the website quite often and some wedding inquiries too. And uh, through Facebook, if we're doing something different, we, that's where we publicise it. And I know that that brings people along. It's, we, we always put our monthly messy church on Facebook. And recently we've had a Remembrance Sunday service, which we moved from the community centre, where we worship week by week and where we've done it before, down to the shopping centre. And we let people know that through using Facebook. And I watched the conversations happening, people discovered it was going on and we certainly had more people here on Remembrance Sunday than in the past.